-huh. we all um, have a tendency to want to be more involved than we should be and, and take away the fact that the players are the ones actually out there playing the game and, and to not try to interfere with that because I think coaches, coaches, in my opinion, probably lose more games than they win and uh, the players are the ones that are, are out there playing. So trying not to uh, lose games for it, because I think as a coach, that's the worst thing, ending a game and, and knowing that you did something that causes us to lose, and it wasn't – I mean, it, it, it's your fault. I think that's the worst the worst way to lose. Um, Hitting under Mendoza, but here's the first pitch to him, and he'll fly, he'll fly this one to left field. Going back is Logan Flood, and he'll get there. It will score a run, however, as it was caught about 10, 15 feet shy of the track. 2-2 no. pitch, fly ball, center field, struck well. Back is Brophy at the wall, and that ball's going to go. Just to the left of that scoreboard in center field, a two-RBI shot. Here's a line drive, left field. It's going to get down. Flood's going to play it on one hop. Coming around third is Roberts. Here's the throw to the plate, and it skips away. Nobody backing the throw up, so going to second base will be Budzig with an RBI single. Here's the 2-0 pitch. A nubber down the third base line. It's going to be fair. A seeing eye single right down the line. Coming around third and scoring is Budzik. They're going to hold Madol at first with an RBI single. 0-2 the count. Here we go again. This is going to be a tapper over the shortstop's head. Zona coming around third and scoring is Pastore. And running is Roberts. Throw down to second. Now coming home is Reef Snyder, and he will score. Th throw goes into center field on his way to third base, and who will be tagged out will be Jack Roberts. 3-1 pitch, line drive, right field. It's going to be down for a base hit. It'll be 6-1, and it skips by the right fielder, Davis, and going to second base, standing up, will be Mallet. Man in second, two men out. Now Budzik lines this one left field. It's going to get over the head a flood and off the wall scoring is Mellet Budzik into second standing Peter on second now here's the batter Nick Zona and it gets by the catcher Adams and a run will score and a hit batter oh boy that one you could hear from up here it was somewhere on the upper 3-1 pitch gonna get away all the way to the backstop so it'll be ball four, all runners advance. 3-1 count, going to be taken in the dirt, ball four. So that'll force in another run. It's 12-1 now. 15-3, Rebels lead the Cardinals in front royal. 3-2 pitch, fly ball, right field. He struck that one well, retreating as Grimes, and he will miss it in the right field corner. Well, that's going to be a hit. I think we were down by, or it may have been 10-1 or something. We were down by eight or nine runs, um, and... I think we ended up scoring two or three early in the inning and then a couple fly outs or punch outs or something and we two outs and I think we were down by seven at the point when we hit two outs um, and then the I don't know it's, it's it's hard to explain it's hard to put into words everything kind of started falling for us a couple hits that maybe shouldn't have dropped did it appears the generals and lumberjacks have been postponed now here's a fly ball left center field by check at the wall it will hit it on one bounce so check slides head first into second. He's safe. So nowhere to put him. 3-1 pitch high and inside. Ball four. And it's 12 to 4. Payoff pitch is going to be taken. Ball four. And they played four runs this inning, but they still trail 12 to 5. 2-2 two -two pitch fly ball. Right center field. Is it going to find the gap? Yes, it will. It'll go all the way to the wall. One run is in. Two runs are in. They've committed two errors. 2-1. Two oh, fly ball. Right field to the track to the wall is Grimes, and there it goes. A three-run jack from Eli Davis, his second of the year, and the Braves are within two. Fly ball, right field. It's going to get down, and it's going to get over the wall. Home run, Andrew Check. 12 to 11, our score. Two of the count to... Oh my God. Line drive, yeah. center field, to the track, to the wall. It is gone. High game. Can you believe this? The impossible has happened. It is 12 to 12.
in the bottom of the ninth <laughs> inning. And Devin Adams, the hero in the ninth, ends up hitting another home run uh, to walk it off. And it, it was uh, – Kind of one of the things where I, I nobody knew what to say. Nobody in the dugout was saying a whole lot. I mean, they were screaming and carrying on, but nobody was really processing what was going on. Um, and then when the game's over, it's like, holy smokes, that was probably the uh, craziest baseball game I've ever been a part of because it's we're down by nine, nine or eight or whatever in the ninth inning, and, and you hate to say that you probably kind of cash it in and you, you expect to lose that night, and then that happens, and it just reminds you that it's – it's really never over until the last out, um, and it was uh, a crazy experience that I was definitely glad to be a part of.